So good morning, everyone. Today, uh, we have a great call lined up. I was chatting to Ruth Lowe just a few weeks ago. Um, on a monthly basis, we kind of touch base and um, see how things are going and, and kind of just keep on top of goals and activity and plans. And uh, it's, it's always an enjoyable call that uh, we have together. But one thing that Ruth shared uh, really, really impressed me. And that was the amount of volume that she gets in her business every month on wellness subscription activity. This is huge. You know, we, we've always talked about having a balance in our business between recruitment activity, bringing in new people, which we want to have on a consistent basis, of course, because that's where the business really starts to grow and where duplication can happen. So we want to get new people coming in, but at the same time, we want to make sure that we have a good balance of customer activity, our own, but also in our teams. If we can teach those that we bring in and our organization to have a good amount of customer activity with that balanced approach of recruitment and, and, uh, and customer activity, that's huge. But the critical thing is, of course, in order for this to be really profitable and manageable as a business, is to get as much of your customer activity on autopilot as you can. And that's where the wellness subscription program comes in. When you get a good balance of activity there on autopilot, moving into your business every month, that gives you more time to build your organization. So you're monetizing it, you're teaching others to do the same, and you're getting as much of it in autopilot as possible. This is really the sweet spot of our priorities and our focus in building a large profitable business. So with that being said, I wanna start by introducing Ruth and asking this critical question of Ruth to give you context. Uh, Ruth, do you wanna let people know in your business on a monthly basis, if you wanna um, unmute your line, please, uh, how much volume do you get coming into your business each month on wellness subscription program activity? Okay, so it varies. Uh, I went back to look at my numbers from January through August of this year, and it ranges anywhere from 2,700 to 4,000 points a month. So our goal has always been um, to qualify for Club KI by using wellness subscriptions. So our goal has been as of the beginning of this year to do hit 4,000. Didn't hit it till July. That's why I was so static when we, we talked like, finally, we need 4,000 for wellness subscriptions. So that for us was like, yay. So we've only done it once so far, yeah. but that is our goal. <laughs> yeah. Now, now that's huge. I, I want to give people context to this because I want you to think about this. If you're hitting Club Ki with auto ship or wellness subscription program volume on a monthly basis, and you do that throughout the year, what does that mean at the end of the year? With a little bit of extra effort, you're gonna also qualify for Team Kaizen, mm -hmm. right? So you've potentially got Team Kaizen uh, volume and Club Ki throughout each quarter coming in on autopilot every month. That is huge. Now, as Ruth pointed out, it, it, she's worked up to this place. It's not something that she's achieved in a moment. This isn't something where you say, um, as of next month, this is what it's going to be. You've got to work towards that. But what is important is what Ruth said earlier, that this was her goal, was to get Club Ki volume on wellness subscription uh, each and every month. She's achieved that goal now and moving forward. I think that's something that can be much more manageable because it's a locked in activity, but it's something that she worked towards. So keep that in mind. Ruth. So can I so I just want to share just a little bit. I've been in Nikan 22 years. I have been on wellness, my wellness subscription for 22 years. Mm -hmm. I have a handful of customers that are also have been on their wellness subscription for 22 years. So it's not once they're on, once they experience it, they will be on it. So mm -hmm. it's just about compliance, right? Some people cancel their wellness subscriptions because they forget to take it. And that's where our customer service comes into play. I will share that um, my team members that qualify on a monthly basis, all of them qualify because there's a big portion of their qualified points come from wellness subscriptions. Karen Willen is one of my team members and she does a phenomenal job, but even my other silvers and above, they qualify almost always due to wellness subscriptions. So it's something that's duplicatable Mm. We do it, and so we teach others, and then they are teaching others, and that's how we multiply that. So it's very powerful, right? So 
and I just wanted to share quickly. So there's categories. I mean, when I say wellness subscription, my first thing is, oh, nutritionals, right? Because I love nutritionals, but it's actually more than that. One of our goals is also to have at least 20 waterfall cartridges per month. The most we've had so far on a monthly, you know, when I go back to the months to count is 11. So we're still got to get to that point. So that'll be my next thing that I'm working mm -hmm. on because I, I look at it, if I had 20 to 22 waterfall cartridges, that's almost a thousand points, right? And that doesn't even include the people that put their wellness cart, uh, uh, waterfall cartridges on their regular on wellness subscription. These are just single hits that I see, the 4384. I'm just going. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be more than that, but I want to see 20 to 22 4384s <laughs> every month <laughs> is what I'm looking for, right? So it's the water products. So we have the shower heads, we have the rocks, the cartridges, and the sports bottle. And yeah. don't forget, we have the Kinko Air, right? Because that's 100 and something points when mm -hmm. they buy a, a Kinko Air replacement filter. So man, if I had 10 of those, that's over, that's 1100, you know, so I'm all about increments, right? We, we got to have something to shoot for. If you don't have anything to shoot for, if you don't focus on things, it's not going to grow. So yeah. that's why wellness subscriptions are so powerful. Yeah. So I, I want to break down what Ruth said here for just a second, for those of you that have taken notes going, I would love to have 4,000 in wellness subscription volume each and every month in my business, right? That's, that's great income. That gives you all, it, it helps you to maximize everything in the commission plan and the rewards plans that we have here in Nikan because it qualifies you for Club Kiai, where you get added bonuses and perks there. And it gives you the, the incentive trip with Team Taishi, uh, Team Kaizen, sorry, uh, with a little bit of um, side activity with recruitment um, and business building as well, which is awesome. But what I like about what Ruth is saying here is, she breaks it down. She doesn't just give a financial target and say, this is what I'm going to do. You, you see how it's a journey. I think it's wonderful here that what we're talking about is a progressive realization of the goal. Okay, so you have a, a specific in mind with, for example, 4,000 in, in volume in wellness subscriptions. But, but Ruth also breaks it down and gets specific and says, I'd like X number of customers having this type of order on a monthly basis or on a quarterly basis or what have you coming in through the wellness subscriptions as well. I know Ruth, you've talked about some specific nutritionals that yes. you think are really important to the program and to making this work. And wouldn't it be a dream if, do you wanna walk us through your ideas? Yes, and, and, and before I even go further than that, so everything I learned regarding sharing my nutritionals came from Margie Kalu, who is my upline she's on today. So it's gonna be a repeat for her, but, <laughs> but I always talk about the powerhouse of three, right? The, I always tell everybody when I talk about nutrition and what is the powerhouse of three? One is, and I always have it here, Jay Green, and I show them. Cause right now I hardly do any live one-on-ones. Everything is on Zoom. So I'm always like, I love this Jay Green. And then I tell them a story. And then I said, and then we have this lactoferrin 2.0 that is phenomenal. And I tell them a story. Then I have immunity, 14 species of mushrooms to build your immune system. Today, friends, you know, COVID, hello. We've been seeing this for three years. So this is what I do. I take one of each of these before I go to Costco and Trader Joe's. And then I take one of each of those when I get home from Trader Joe's and Costco's because I'm out with a bunch of people. When I go on the airplane, right? I take one of each of them before I get on the plane, one of each of them while I'm on the plane, and one of each of them when I get off the plane. And I just flew back from Hawaii. So I, I do what I tell people that I need mm -hmm. to do. So those are my three power. I just think everybody should be on them. My dog is on them. My children are on them. My grandbabies, everybody should be on them. And then the other thing that I always like to share is the KBB because I really think it's so important, the nutritional value for children, for elderly, for, um, yeah, for any age. So, you know, I want my granddaughter, who's only 16 months, to start scooping like a quarter of a scoop just in her water mm. or in her oatmeal or something like that so that she can get the right nutritional. She is on Jay Green. She's been on Jay Green for um, maybe two or three months. Uh, but my grandpuppies are all on... Uh, Lactofair and Jay Green, they're not on immunity right now. But so I, I just think that it's important for everybody to be on those three. But what sells it, and I shouldn't even say sell, what educates them is the stories. Right? Mm -hmm. I tell them what I do. That I would never expect somebody to do something that I'm not currently doing. So I do approach a lot of moms because the nutrition for their children. Also pet owners. My dog 
is on, you know, J green lactoferrin immunity, joint formula digestion. Um, yeah, so he he he's got his own ownership, really. I pay for it, but I'm just yeah. saying that every animal should be on it too. Every cat, every dog should be on J green. It's such a wonderful nutritional. So mm -hmm. it, those are my favorite, favorite, favorite. I mean, everything else we have is wonderful, but those are the three that I share plus the KBB. Okay. And, and, and in regards to those nutritionals, Ruth, have you worked out the, the point value of those three as a combination and what that would look like as an auto ship or as a wellness subscription package? Do you want to so I don't do it as a pack. I educate them as the pack so they all know. But I always, if people are like, well, I, I don't want to do that right away, then I always say at least start with the J Green Signs because I know when we, and so every time on a Zoom, I'm always drinking out of my water bottle. And then I'm like, if you do this and this, you're going to feel better. Mm -hmm. So then I will start with this. And this really comes out to like, I don't know, it was like 30 cents a cap. I mean, it's very inexpensive per ca capsule. And this is 120 capsules, right? And yes, I do kinesiology. I must check how much it should take. But even for people that don't, I always say start with one or two a day, see how you feel, then add up to get to the four a day, and then go from there. And or babies or and like my grandpuppies each take one capsule a day. We open it up and just mix it onto their food. So mm. everybody should be at least on one capsule a day and then go from there. Um, yeah, so that's so that's what I, I share first. I do the water and I do the J green. Mm. I'm a firm believer if you get two technologies into somebody's body, they can only feel better. There's yeah. no way they wouldn't notice a difference. So water and nutritional is key. Right? Okay. So again, I'm, I'm just going to, I want to recap a couple of the things that I consider as significant takeaways from what Ruth is saying in each of her answers here, because there is so much that is being said both directly and indirectly in Ruth's messaging here. Uh, one is, you know, if we are doing a lot of live or, or virtual events, meetings, one-on-ones with people through Zoom or Facebook Messenger or whatever the platform is that you're using, come prepared. Have the products that you use round about you. Um, use them as visual aids. Let them see that you're teaching by example. If we want people to be using these products, I, I love that triad that, that uh, Ruth talked about, and especially with KVB. I, I always have my KVB with Siaga. I, I think those two as a combination are just gorgeous and delicious, and it's, it's just fantastic, as Ruth said, nutritionally. Um, but, but let's pack them around us so that we are leading by example. What does our ordership look like? What does our wellness subscription look like? Um, I think we need to lead by example there. If all of us had that kind of built in, what we think about is what we start to talk about. If we're not talking about it, it's typically because we're not thinking about it. If we're not thinking about it, it's because we're not doing it. Yeah. So it really starts there. If you want to get that focus, start with the self. It's the first rule of the paramedic, isn't it? Always ensure your own safety first. When you're on the airplane, what do they tell you to do in this? In the case of an accident, put your own mask on first your, your own air mask first so that you're safe and then you can then help others so this principle applies with this if we want to lead successfully with the wellness subscription programs you want to have your goal as, as your end in mind see it as a journey but start with yourself lead by example get these products around about you so that you can share and talk about it and as ruth said the stories that come out are what really persuades and convinces but then you also customize. This is the other thing that Ruth said that is really important. She has the ideal outcome. What does the ideal customer look like to Ruth Lowe? I know what it looks like because she's talked about it specifically over and over again. They're on wellness subscription. They use uh, those three critical nutritionals. They also have the water. They have the, um, the KVB as well. Uh, they have that on a regular basis. But she also sees that might be a journey. They don't get there in a moment. So maybe you start with one or two, but once they start to get too locked in, they start to see the benefits and they can develop and evolve from there. So I think there's some great instruction here. Start with yourself as the example, have the product around you so that you can share and be a visual teacher. Let them know that you're leading for, by example. I think that's really important. And then as you talk about it, see their journey, their customer journey and respect that process, but get them started but take them on a journey to get them to where they need to be. See that as a process. Yeah. Ruth? Yes. 
So I'd like to take the next step. So the next step is, okay, now when do we set up? So, well, the first is, when do I talk about it? So every presentation that I do, when I do the wellness home concept, one of the categories is nutrition, right? So the five, you know, we have five pillars of health, but I always talk about the five components of good health. And they are water, air, energy, you know, like insoles, necklace, and things like that, sleep, and nutrition. So when I get to nutrition, that's when I talk about the three in KVB. Mm. And then from there, once, if, when they order um, a Kinko Air or Waterfall or a shower head or a sports bottle, any of those that I always talk to them about the replacement. So, so I would say maybe 40% of the time right now when I sell those things, I can get them on a, a wellness subscription right away. The others, I actually have to, I put it in my calendar like three months or actually I do two months from now and say contact so-and-so and talk to them about needing to change their cartridge to keep the integrity of their water or mm -hmm. to keep the integrity of their air, whatever it, whatever it is. And then, so I use my calendar, it'll pop up and I clear that every day. The other thing I want to share is that I will go back on a monthly, well, I don't do it every month. I do like every four months, actually. I will go back and look at the transaction history and look at those that have the auto ships because I want to say, oh yeah, they're doing it. It has been canceled. And it's not like I have hundreds, so it's not a problem. People like Sue Gruber do a phenomenal job. They, they have lots, but for me, it's full enough that I can look. And then like today, when I went through, uh, I went back two months and I realized that there were five or six people I want to follow up with just mm -hmm. to take off their rocks and then put back, put, remind them about the shower head or it's time for their Kinko Air. I, you know, and, and I have to be upfront. I don't do a lot for the specials because I want people to be on a rhythm with their wellness subscriptions. So when we have this sale, it's an extra 10% off. I do not go back and contact them because that's much more work for me. Now, for people that don't have a filter, yes, I will go and call them, get them started with this discount, and then I can get them on a wellness subscription. But those that already have a wellness subscription, they're on a rhythm. I don't want to disrupt that. And I just think it's it's easier for me to handle. It's less work for me and less work for them. So that's a point that I'm not sure Nikan will be too happy about that, but that's what I found to work. The other thing I want to share is that I have started this year to teach my customers how to change their wellness subscriptions. I do a Zoom. I said, just give me 10 minutes. Let's Zoom. You get you log on and I'm going to show you where to go. And I show them how to change it, how to uh, delete it, how to add a new one. And I, I probably should record that someday, but I like spending the time with them. That builds my relationship with them. And that has helped. I've transitioned at least a dozen people to manage their own wellness subscriptions. In the past, I felt that was a customer service that I give to them. But then I thought some of these are youngins, right? They're like 30 years old. They can take care of their own wellness subscriptions. I don't need to do that. But, you know, anybody that's, I don't know, that's elderly, like over 80, 90, you know, I will take care of it for them because that's mm -hmm. customer service I provide. But anybody younger, I feel like they should be able to manage their own wellness subscriptions. So that has really freed up a lot of my time yeah. to make me to make me more efficient. Cool. Yeah. So, so let, let's touch on a couple of these points here, because, again, you've given some great advice is managing and maintaining the, the wellness subscriptions requires a couple of critical things. One. Planning. Yeah, there, there is follow up that still needs to be done. There is customer service that still needs to be given. People do like to come to us because of the personal touch. So I think that's really important, but there is some planning that comes in here. So I, I wanna come back to you, Ruth, on that question uh, and that point in just a second. Um, th and the other one is the customer service. And notice how Ruth explained how she customizes or personalizes the, the service that she gives according to the people that she's working with. Yeah, as they're a little bit older, she holds their hand a little bit more, she leads them a little bit more. When they're a little bit younger, uh, it can be a little bit more automated. They maybe want a little less involvement, but it's customized according to their needs. So yes, there are some ways that we can be more efficient. We can record you know, certain messages and have that as follow-up, but sometimes we want to reach out and have that face-to-face -face interaction because it's the personal touch and the relationship that helps them stay and stick around and be involved and stay keep us present, uh, front of mind in regards to how they uh, use our products. So that customer service is an important part. I want to go back to the planning part, Ruth, because it, you made a, a comment about a couple of things. One, utilizing the back office and, and going back and tracking what orders were placed three or four months ago and what needs a follow-up call or contact, which I think is really important to recognize 
the, the, the versatility of our back office to help us in building our business versus simply informing us uh, or giving us a place to shop, yeah? There is so much more to it that we can use it for. So I wanna touch on that a little bit, but also um, what method do you use in order to be able to plan efficiently your follow-up and your contact? Do you have certain software that you use with your customers? Do you use a spreadsheet? Do you simply use a phone? Do you use your planner? Uh, what, what process do you use to help you stay on top of who to contact, when, when to follow up, and all that type of stuff? What's, what's your process? So it, it's, it's a little bit of, of two different things. One is I do use contact mapping to mm -hmm. enter my relationships. That, so when I call somebody, and I always, if they have a big wellness subscription, like four or five hundred dollars. I, I like to stay in touch with them, right? Because they obviously like our stuff. And then when I call them to build that relationship and we don't talk about the nutritionals, we talk about their life, then those notes I put into contact mapping. And mm -hmm. then that, that that houses my information. The other thing I do is I use my cell phone, right? And so if, when I go to transaction history and I'm looking, oh, like so when I wrote down like these five people that I want to contact today, um, as I can, whether it's a text or just me looking it up, if I need a reminder, I put it in my phone. Mm -hmm. And I always put whether it's well, a WS for wellness subscription and their name and under their contact information, I already have their ID number, right? So I, it's easy enough for me to have all that information handy. So I use a little bit of two things. I use contact mapping for one thing and then I use my calendar for the other. And I use going back to the transaction history. It's a tool that we have mm -hmm. Now it's not, the best. Uh, there definitely is room for improvement in the back office, but it's better than nothing. And it gives me a chance to really look to see who do I want to reach out to. But that's really important to be able to reach out and build that relationship. Yeah. 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 So I, I thank you, Ruth. You, you've given, hopefully, uh, certainly I've, I've loved all of the insights that you've given here and identifying some critical things. I'm going to do a quick summary. And if we've got chance for a question or two, at the end, let's let's do that. So if you've got any questions in your mind, uh, get ready to raise your hand. But in, in summary, what I've learned here is if we want to have a strong, solid, stable, profitable business, using the wellness subscription program is a critical tool. It helps improve our efficiency as business builders because we want to get a balance between recruiting and team building and also managing customer activity and getting people profitable by having a customer base but we can be, improve our efficiency there with the wellness subscription program. But that doesn't just happen automatically. It comes by being deliberate, being goal-centered, seeing it as a process and a journey, not an event, and also seeing within that the individual goals of the customers and the, the, the customer journey that they go on that we help to fulfill. We also see here that it requires planning. It requires some tools. It requires some preparation. It requires some follow-up. And it doesn't excuse relationships. Relationships are still important in the process of maintaining and managing our wellness subscription customers. That's really important as well. But I love how that overall goal, goal of being Club Ki and Team Kaizen with the wellness subscription volume is also broken down internally within that. That's the big goal. But at the, within that framework, you've got how many people do I want to have using um, the, not, not just the nutritionals, but the filter replacements? How much is, is going on there? When I am talking to them about the nutritionals, do I have it in front of me? Uh, what specifically do the nutritionals look like when I talk about the wellness subscription program and why? And you get your message right, you get your story right, you get your objective right, your purpose right, and then you are very deliberate in your activity. But with that focus and that attention, results come in. That's the great thing. And we can see that as evidenced in what Ruth has been sharing uh, in the month of August, 4,000 points in wellness subscription volume. What a tremendous success there that is, Ruth. And um, so, yeah, a huge congratulations for getting yourself on a path there uh, that is deliberate, that is purposeful, that is rewarding and that is going to get you to Japan and get you on all these other wonderful trips. Uh, as I should say, as she has just come back from Hawaii. Um, one of the things that I love, and I want to just say this in conclusion, so 
Uh, Ruth and I have had monthly mentoring calls uh, for a, a, at least a couple of years. Yeah, we've been doing this. Uh, and maybe, yeah, I'd say maybe four years now that we've been doing this. And it's been tremendous. What I love about it is how her business has gone from strength to strength to strength um, as she has worked uh, purposefully, deliberately towards specific goals. What she hasn't done is said, by the end of this year, I'm going to be X. It's, it's what, what I love is with grace and peace. This is the language that Ruth has used over and over again. Whatever I do, it's going to be with grace and peace. I want the outcome, but I want the experience to be rewarding and enjoyable. Why is that important? Because if it is, you'll do it again the next year. And then you'll do it again the next year. And what I've seen in Ruth's business is it has gone stronger and stronger. She, she stretched and reached and really worked hard to get to Team Kaizen. And then she got there effortlessly. And then she stretched and she got there to Team Taishi. And then she got there effortlessly. And then it starts to change. And it's now, now the, bed, the foundation, the entry point each year is getting higher and higher in regards to what her business is giving her each and every month. And now she's reached a point where 4,000 points a month in, in uh, wellness subscription volume is going to become a regular feature in her business. And I think that's just absolutely tremendous. So a huge congratulations, Ruth, for doing such a tremendous job there. Uh, we do have maybe time for one question. If anyone wants to raise their hand, uh, do it now or forever hold your peace. But I, I think this has been wonderfully insightful and I hope you've taken lots of notes. This to me has been a call today, a masterclass in how to build wellness subscription activity and be goal focused and deliberate and purposeful in building your business. That's what's really important here. This is something I would recommend that we all come away from and say, I'm gonna improve my wellness subscription habits personally. I'm gonna get better prepared and prep my, my Zoom space for my one-on-ones. I'm gonna be deliberate. I'm gonna be mindful. I'm gonna be purposeful. And with grace and peace, I'm gonna to build towards a better, stronger, more vibrant business. Wellness subscription program, everyone, is designed to help us be more efficient in our business activities. I've seen a lot of people that do great jobs in getting lots of customers, but they get so preoccupied with their customer activity that they struggle to get the time to build their organization. And then they don't get the residual income opportunity that network marketing is all about. Wellness subscription program helps you to get the balance of both. You, you make every unit in your business, every individual profitable through this and stable and secure. And then you free up your time to bring more people in as well. It's, a, it's the perfect blend. So Nancy, you got your hand up. Yes, Ruth, you talked about the five components of health and when you're going over that. Now, I know that you reach out to groups, those that you get feedback from, you connect with, then you do a Zoom with them. Is that, is that five components of health what you cover when they say, well, what is it you do? Or is it a subsequent meeting? Great question. Um Nancy, so yes, when they ask me what I do, I, I talk about, well, I'm with this, and I always bring up my bottle. I'm like, have you ever heard of this company? Because I always wanted to show them. And that's why I have it here all the time. I, and then I said, yeah, we, we talk about, the, we teach about the wellness home concept. And it's, you know, good health is, is not just one thing, right? So I tell them, it has to do with the good water you drink, the good air you breathe, the high energy level you want, the good sleep, the good nutrition, garbage in, garbage out. So I quickly just say that so that they understand that okay, what is all this stuff? I didn't realize it was more than just being healthy, you know? So yeah, and then when we take it to the next step, so I have some downlines that are using me for three ways and we actually do a presentation mm -hmm. and it takes about 20 minutes and I tell them up front today, we're, we're talking because we want to teach you about good health and we, I go through the five and I tell them the five categories and then I talk about each and every one and give testimonies because testimonies are powerful. And typically that's when I use, so if I'm the A, I use my B to do the testimonies because that's the person they know, right? They can talk about their mom, their sister, their brother, their child, whatever. And then I'll sprinkle in a few testimonies of my own, depending on what I found out from them. Mm -hmm. And that's how we get going. But you're right. At the very beginning, if they ask me doing our first, you know, get to know each other Zoom call, that's how I present it. So I planted the seed is what I've done. 
Okay, something I have heard you say before, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. When you when they say, well, what do you do? And you've been drinking out of the water and sitting on your seat and all that. And you told me this, oh, several years ago. And I went, this is brilliant. It's when you hold it up and you say, well, have you ever heard of Niken? And they usually always say, no. no. <laughs> and what is it you say? Oh, so I said, really? You know what? I get that all the time, but it's been around 47 years yeah. and get, and, I, and I've been doing it for 22. Go figure. I, I just, you know, make it fun. And they're like, what? 47 years. I'm like, yeah. yeah. And nobody's ever heard of it. Yeah. I think so, yeah. And the little ad you said, it was, I can't believe you haven't. It's been around for 47 years. And then they feel like they're missing out, which they are, but it's fabulous. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent. Great, great question, Nancy. And the thing about I love about that question as well, have you heard of Niken before, show the bottle, is the assumption that I'm sure you have. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, it immediately gives some credibility when you say, oh, you haven't. Oh, okay. Well, we've been around for 47 years. Yeah. There is an assumption there of um, establishment. Yeah. A and credibility that comes with that question uh, without you even having to state it. It's, it's all incumbent in the question, isn't it? Which is really great and really powerful. So excellent. Thank you all so much. This has been really good. Thank you again, Ruth, for sharing thank this. You. This has been really, really helpful. So thank you all. I hope this has been a help. Let's get some more wellness subscription activity in our businesses and uh, thrive and prosper as a consequence. Love you all very much. We'll speak to you soon. You. Take care. Bye-bye.